So the web is developed pretty much with HTML, JavaScript, and Ajax. Those are your front-end programming languages. Now, there are very few objects that are really scripted languages. Now, what do I mean by an object? I mean something that can extend and inherit. So a text field might be an object. There might be DOM, DOM objects, but you can't, let's say, make a calendar object and then say, oh, I want to display weather, extend it, add a little functionality, because when you extend something, you write it once, you use it everywhere, you can change one thing, and it changes it everywhere. And data from databases also have objects. They have events on them. They have things tied to them specifically. So where's Wicked in all of this? Well, like I said, JavaScript, jQuery, and database, they all have objects, whether they're used or not. But now Wicked makes HTML into objects and almost groups all these things into one framework that very easily behave together, or that's the goal at least. So now why do I want that? Well, imagine if you could just add a new login to something. You don't have to type out or copy and paste the login. You just write it once and you add it. That means if you change it, it changes everywhere you use it. You only code it in one place. All the code for it is together. You have no code from other parts mingled in. It's much clearer. And let's say you want to change the login. You want to add a CAPTCHA or something like that. You just extend it, add a new uh, piece to it, and that's it. And the, one of the interesting things is there's also only one object to manipulate. So therefore, you can set login to false, and it'll whole, hide the whole login. And there's lots of things like that, like Ajax updates. <clears throat> so what would the code look like? So you have your body of your HTML, and this span, so the Wicked ID, is called title. And that tells Wicked, this object is going to be called title, and it needs to be manipulated. And now you make a new label object. And you say that its resource is attached to the HTML with wicked ID title. And that text is going to be hello world. And you just add the label. Very simple. But the nice thing about this is that you can group a big form together, for instance, in one piece of code. Now, there are other frameworks. So why wicked? Well, all the configuration is done in Java. No, H no XMLs, really. The information is stored on the server, which is useful for many reasons. I like it because it means that someone can't just download your app and use it, but then again, they can't use it offline, so that's a big problem. nice thing about it being on the server is just the fact that, you know, there's little download times. You have an Ajax object which allows you to easily update the UI, add and remove, hide and set visible. There's also a very strong community, so if you have any questions or concerns, you can email. Uh, you find most questions very easily on Google, just doing a Google search, which is very useful. And then there's something special in Wicked called models. Okay, so what are models? Models help minimize memory, and that's because you only want the data when you're actually using it, and when you're not, you can detach the model from the UI or from the database layer. And they entirely worry about the data, not components, which means there's a good separation of concerns, and therefore all your business logic or more of your business logic at least for your UI is contained in the models. Now why, where would this be useful? Let's say you want to convert an input or check an input or validate an input. You can do that in the model. It also helps you abstract you know what you're looking at meaning the UI just worries that there's a model and then in your model you actually worry about the data which is a nice separation of concerns. Also it can minimize code. So one instance is you don't have to check for null values in what are called property models, which check an object for, you know, getter and setters. Another nice feature is that, let's say someone types something into a text field. That text field is, through the model, automatically tied to the object and will change the object. Now, another nice thing is you can have a model for an entire panel. So let's say you have a registration, a user registration form. You just set the model once and every single text field and every single option automatically knows what object to use and automatically changes it and you don't have to do it for each and every text field which is a very nice feature and we'll speak about it more when we look at models specifically. Thank you for watching. Please rate and comment and tell me if you want any specific uh, areas of Java or J2A, uh, JE.